Other headlines we're following today. New York Governor Kathy Hochul held her first COVID briefing, announcing a robust booster vaccination program, among a number of new measures to help fight the Delta variant. But in a stark departure from her predecessor, she says she is not going to issue mandates. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer here now with more on today's developments. Marsha. Well, Maurice and Christine, Kathy Hochul went home to Buffalo for her first COVID briefing. But if you were expecting the lengthy PowerPoint productions of the man whose name was name we must not now mention, forget about it. She spoke for just 18 minutes and let it be known that while she was thrilled to sleep in her own bed, she's not thrilled with the increase in people getting sick from the Delta variant. Don't like those numbers, my friends. Don't like those numbers. Governor Kathy Hochul talking about New York's daily COVID infection rate, which is now approaching 4%, as she announced a number of new initiatives to combat it. She made clear by how she did it, standing alone at a podium, no Andrew Cuomo PowerPoint production number for her, that she was a different breed of cat from the man she succeeded, and no controversial health commissioner, Dr. Howard Zucker, was not at her side, as she announced a $65 million program to make sure New Yorkers get booster shots to protect from Delta and other COVID variants. We also know it has to be a targeted approach because everyone who got vaccinated eight months ago is vulnerable. A lot of anxiety. She also announced a statewide weekly testing requirement for school staff and efforts to enforce a vaccine mandate for staff at regulated health care facilities like nursing homes and congregate sites. She also wants to return some of the decision making, including vaccine locations, back to local health departments. I will not be micromanaging, but I'll be giving guidance based on your input. I'll be giving you the cover you need. I'll be there to be the ally. But I will not be imposing state people and locations on all of you without consultation. Hochul, who's been something of an energizer bunny since she took office a week ago, also says she was working to restart the state's marijuana program that was stalled by Cuomo. She says she's quickly going to name people to run the state office of cannabis management to get the program up and running. I was concerned about next year's growing season. This is something that will be a boon to farmers upstate, Long Island, elsewhere, as well as creating a whole new industry. There will be thousands of jobs associated with this. Well, the governor also announced a replacement for Linda Lacewell, who headed the powerful Department of Financial Services. Lacewell quit after the attorney general's report found that she helped Andrew Cuomo craft responses to the 11 women who accused him of sexual harassment. Christina Maurice. All right, Marcia, thank you.